you might stay angry. I'm going to talk about this a bit. I uh, brought up this subject earlier today in my challenge that I'm holding, um, the five-day challenge uh, t called Roadmap to Success. And during that, I was telling a story, recounting a story that I was going to a, a, a counselor. This was about, probably about 35 years ago. And she says to me, hmm, I think you might have some repressed anger. And I thought, that, that makes no sense. And I said, that, that can't possibly be because I'm the nicest person in the world. I couldn't have any anger. And uh, then I found out, wow, she was right. Because see, then I went back and I did a little investigating. And then I discovered that I had cut off my anger. I had repressed it, which is what a lot of people do. And that's what happens to so many people when then all of a sudden they explode and attack someone or kill someone because they have all this repressed anger. And then you have to think, well, how did that happen? Where did that come from? Something happened at some point with all of us where we decided, oh, wait a minute, I don't want to look at this. Where did this come from? See, when I was a kid, when I was really young, I don't, I don't remember the age, maybe nine or 10 or something like that. I, I had this cousin who always teased me and it just drove me crazy. And then one day I decided I'm going to end this. And so I went and grabbed him and I grabbed him <laughs> by his shoulders and I started banging his head against a tree. I was angry and it frightened me so much. I said, okay, I'll never do that again. But see, how did I get there? I got there because I couldn't change what was happening before. Because he was saying all these things and I wasn't empowered enough as his child to take care of myself, even though he was younger than me. So I should have been able to do that, I thought, but I didn't. And so then I let it build up to this place where now I'm going to attack him. That's what happened. And so then when I kept moving through all of this, and I'm still going to that counselor and I'm saying to her, well, how did I get this way? <laughs> and I started figuring that out as well. I said, oh, it's my parents. It's my father specifically. This is what I was talking about earlier today. It's my father. So then I went and had a conversation with him and I said, I'm really screwed up because of you. <laughs> this is what happened. You could have done things better. I probably wouldn't be angry. He just looked at me. He just stared and he just like, okay, fine. And then at the end of it, he said, well, you had it better th than most. And that is true for every person. That's true for all of us. We are in a better situation coming into our lives now than our parents were. We, were, we are just because we live in a different time. You see, but we also bring in something else. Because the other thing I discovered is that we have systemic hatred <laughs> and anger. We do. It's built in all of us. And several years ago when I said, oh, I have to change now because I knew this anger was going to come up and we're seeing it in our world. This is why we have a war. This is why we're having all the division, the hatred. This is why you're seeing all the protests and all of that. And it's not just about um, the issues that are going on. It's about what is within us. That's all. Six years ago, no longer than then, 2016, I've talked about, spoken of this because I knew where the world would be moving. So I said, I have to get rid of my anger. I have to get rid of the stuff that's within me that I'm bringing into the world because that's how we create the world. You know, we each do it energetically. And so if we have a lot of anger, then we're putting that into the world. So we can't expect to see a world that isn't angry and, and killing one another. That's what happens. And so I thought, I, I got to start talking about it. So I wrote this wonderful article that probably no one read because I said I might be slightly racist with misogynistic tendencies because I knew those were the issues that would be coming up in our world. There would be racial, there would be gender issues, there would be all those things. So I shifted my entire life. I said, I'm going to create something that's going to take people to a place where they don't have to have that anger anymore. And I know it's possible because I had to move through that. But the most uncomfortable thing during that process was to, was to discover that typically I was angry at myself. And I will tell you that's for most people. When we become so frustrated that we can't change something, that's what would happen to me as a kid. When we can't change it, then we want to attack someone else. And it came up to, again today because I happened to go on my one of my YouTube channels and uh, I saw a comment from someone and, and, and they didn't even know what they were saying. <laughs> they wanted to make a comment on a channeling session um, that I had last week and they said, well, this is talking to everyone and everyone all at once and nobody and, and talking to no one and it's a real con job. I said, wow, 
you're really brilliant. That was anger that you put into the comment, but you don't understand what you just said. Because see, because if more people can understand that we were all the same, we wouldn't have all the stuff going on. We wouldn't be angry anymore. We would be going about living our lives and doing what we came to the world to do because everybody has something. Everyone was given something to bring to the world. And when we can do that, we're not angry at other people because we're living our lives the way we wanted to. We're happy. It's a whole entirely different energy. See, because I knew that we were going to be moving through an evolutionary change in our world, and we would see all the disruption, we would see all the anger, all the stuff that's been within each person in different ways, because it's a generational change that we're moving through, but everybody's got something. But when we move through it, boy, does that change the energy within us, and then we stop killing ourselves. I'm saying that because if you don't know, the emotions that we carry around have an effect on what's happening in our bodies. Because typically when we start getting sick all the time and all these illnesses, it might be because we have this repressed anger we don't know what to do with. I can say that because I lived through all of that. I don't have those me medical conditions anymore. They're gone because I decided I'm going to not stay angry. And I'm saying this because I want everyone to understand we're going to see more of that in our world as we keep moving forward. And anger is not the same as passion. That's different. Passion is something that awakens you to who you are, something that's important for you. And so, yeah, you can express that, but you're not going to go and kill someone with that. You're just going to be awakened to who you are, and then you're going to start to want to own and become yourself and become more empowered. That's all the work that I'm doing. So that person that made that comment, I, I never, um, I, I, I respond to comments occasionally, I don't really have enough time, but I had to respond to that one. Because I said, if somebody's going to put out some hate, I'm going to love them. And that's exactly what I did. Just gave him, I said, that's some judgment that you have. But I said, gee, you are so wise to see that. Yes, we are all the same. And the more of us who come to understand that, then we start to live the lives we want to have. And then we start creating a different world. I haven't done anything like this. It's increased the confidence that I had in myself. Everything is better. I mean, every every single aspect of my life. My income, the progress is just amazing. Like you can see changes from week to week. Introducing your last development program, Life Transformation for Success, the newest part of Roger Burnley's coaching series. In this three-month online program, you will learn the mindset tools you need to dissolve the shame of your past, discover the gifts within you that make you important to the world, and get the confidence to rise above anything that stands between you and the life that you want. Everything changed in my life. Everything. Every single thing. It's time for you to reprogram your mind for success and become self-actualized. If you're ready to transform your life too, learn more at yourlastdevelopmentprogram.com today.